This is the whole point of us being here today. It's the 10th anniversary of what has become our signature dance. Many of the teams that are in the Morris fraternity have one dance that they're famous for. And over the last 10 years, we've become famous for this dance. And it really revolves around right here in Porlock Weir. And it was a dance that we, uh, we made up to a tune that my good friend Nigel here composed, a very original tune. And it tells the story of a famous, a famous event just over a hundred years ago, back on a dark and stormy night in January 1899, when a ship by the name of the Forest Hall was making her way up the Bristol Channel right there, and she lost her rudder. So the cry went out that a ship was in trouble and needed saving before she drifted onto, onto the shore and onto the rocks. The nearest lifeboat to here is at Lynmouth, about 15 miles down the coast. So, the cry went out to the Lynmouth lifeboat that a ship was in trouble and needed saving. But the sea was so bad that night, the storm was so bad, that they couldn't even launch the lifeboat from the little harbour at Lynmouth. But the, co the coxswain, Jack Crocombe, being the good RNLI man that he was, said if there's a ship in trouble, then we must do everything we can to save her. Well, if any of you have ever been to Lynmouth, you'll know the only way you get out of the harbour there is either out into the Bristol Channel, well, they couldn't do that because the sea was so rough. And the only other way you get out of Lynmouth is up a very steep hill in any direction. So that was the only way. And Jack Crocom knew that the nearest place that they could launch a lifeboat that had a calm, that was likely to have a calm water, even in a storm, was right here at Paulock Weir. So they found 20 strong horses and 100 strong men and a lot of rope. And they hitched up to the lifeboat. She was called Louisa. She weighed 10 tons on her truck, four great big cartwheels, and they hauled her all the way up Countersbury Hill out of Lynmouth. It's about a mile long in 24 in places. And all through that night, they heaved and they hauled the Louisa to the top of Countersbury Hill. And then they took her eight miles across the top of Exmoor. And then they got to the top of Porlock Hill up there. And they hung on to the ropes for all they were worth. And they lowered her all the way down until they came to the bottom of the hill. They had to do demolish a little old lady's garden wall to get round the corner. But they managed to get the Louisa down here onto the beach at Porlock Weir. And they launched her from right here. And they rode out, still in the storm, still in the dark. And they found the forest hall and they rescued every man jack on her. There are 18 men and seven apprentices saved their life, saved that night, and they owe their lives to the brave and heroic event, and the coxswain who was determined to bring the Louisa to somewhere they could launch her. And we wanted to recreate that event, we wanted to retell that story, because we are the Exmoor Board of Morris, and that was something that happened on Exmoor, and it's very special to us. And 10 years ago today, we brought that dance right here and we performed it for the very first time. And it's a proud moment to present this to you. This is Paula Hill. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. We got 